Welcome back everyone, Mean Pooh here, and today I have a new tutorial. Lately, there have been many people asking is there a way to make the undervolt stay applied after reboot. Personally, when I use my preferred undervolt, I do not have any problems at all coming from a restarted PC or shutdown. The only time I would have to apply the settings again is if I had a crash or BSOD, and that is rare. So after researching the internet as usual, I came up on a fix that will work. This will require some typing, so get your fingers ready. There are a few things you need to do before you apply this fix. First, if you have not watched my tutorial on undervolting or you're unfamiliar with the process, please check it out or another undervolt video on YouTube. Second, you need to have an undervolt setting that you have extensively tested and is very stable for your system. Third, only proceed if you have done the previous, have an undervolt setting, or are already familiar with the process. Let's start by opening Notepad and follow me as I type this. You may have to pause the video to make sure everything is correct on your end. Make sure on line three that the location of the Intel Extreme Utility matches what you type. If you did not install to the default location, then you may have to adjust. This is basically telling the XTU when started to apply the undervolt settings. At the end of line three, you will enter the setting that is stable for your machine. In my case, it's negative .115, but do not add the decimal, so mine will be negative 115. When finished, save your file. I'm saving my file to my desktop in a folder called Undervolt. Make sure to save with the .ps1 extension. This will be associated with Windows PowerShell, hence the PS1. Close all windows and hit the Windows button. Now search for PowerShell and then run as administrator. When open, type this and agree. When finished, close the window. Let's open up Notepad again and let's type some more. 
This time we are creating a script for PowerShell to use in conjunction with Task Scheduler. So as you are typing, remember that on line three to adjust the location of your save file that contains your undervolt settings. Again, my file is saved on my desktop in a folder called undervolt and the file is called 115.ps1. When you are finished, save the file and name it whatever you want as long as it has .vbs at the end. I save my file to the same folder as my undervolt settings. When finished, you can close the windows or leave them open. Let's open Task Scheduler. When open, navigate to the right and select Create Task. On the next screen, name it to whatever you want, something that you can recognize. I name mine accordingly. You can skip the description if you want as it's not necessary. Click the next button. On this screen, we are telling Task Scheduler to start the device. Choose whichever works for you, but when I log on, is optimal. Do not choose the option that says, when the computer starts, because if you happen to put some wrong settings in your undervolt, it will probably be hell to try and fix. So once you double check, click next. On this screen, select start a program and click next. Now click browse and search for your script we just made. It will have the VBS extension. And if you get confused, the file type will be VBS script, which is modeled on Visual Basic. When you find it, click open. You will be back to the top of the previous screen. Now click next. Now put a check in the open properties dialog for this task option at the bottom of the screen and click finish. This is just a summary of all the settings and options for the task we just created. Feel free to make any adjustments. Before clicking OK, make sure to put a check in the option that says Run with Highest Privileges. After clicking OK, you will see the tasks that your system is running or will run when certain conditions are met. See if you can find your task in the list. My task is located at the bottom. Again, when you select your task, you can see an overview. When finished, close all windows and reboot. Let's see if this works. After reboot, I got an error. If you read it, it will tell you exactly where the problem is located in the code. It gives you the location of the file, so let's open it up. Find your file and right click and select edit. On line one, we see that 11 character places over it, there is a missing quote. While we're here, let's go ahead and complete it. Let's add one at the end as well. There's one more error. Do you see it? Let's save, reboot, and see what happens. If you didn't get it, here's the error. I was missing the character letter N. Let's fix it. Save and reboot. Now let's see if this works. Open Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and check your offset. Your settings should be set. To double check, let's open a program called CPUID Hardware Monitor. Scroll to the top and look for IA Offset, which is your CPU Core, and LLC Ring Offset, which is your CPU Cache. The numbers here will be a little off. To make sure this is really working, let's do another test. 
navigate to your undervolt settings, right click and select edit. I'm going to go and change my settings from negative 115 to negative 110 on line 3. Remember, make sure it's a setting that is stable for your machine. Negative 010 would be a safe setting if you want to try it. Anyway, when you are finished, save and reboot. Now that we're back in, I'm going to open up Intel Extreme Tuning Utility to check. Sure enough, it took. Let's open CPU ID. And now it's confirmed working. You could run some benchmarks if you want, but I think I'm done myself. And in closing, if the video helped you, feel free to like and subscribe. There is also a list of all my hardware in the description box. If you would like to support the channel, buy from the links I have listed, and I'll see you next time. Mean poo.